All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel. And today, as promised, everybody level 35, everybody gonna come down into this basement with me, and everybody gonna have a good time. Already got this lit up. Jaboink. Jaboink. Gonna move over to this way. Jaboink. This is the way back out. <laughs> Jaboink. Oh, or maybe not. Press the switch on the elevator. Oh. Wait, that means I'm up now. Oh, because it can give me an idea of where to go. I'm just going to keep moving around random places until I find where I need to go. It's not going to be a huge puzzle. The one you meet when you get on this conveyor is none other than me. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be the gym leader. You're not cool enough looking. You're generic model man. Analyst Jill. Sent out Goldeen. So we got everybody to 35. We had some chances to get some moves, but they weren't so good. Uh, rain Dance for Mister, but we couldn't get Rain Dance because we'd have to sack something else, and I didn't want to sack Recover or Aqua Tail uh, just because it's our only stab move, even though we're going to try and replace it with uh, Water Pulse as soon as we can get out of this accursed hole and get to the PWT so we can unlearn and relearn and butt learn and move learn. All the good stuff. That's the move that we're supposed to have. That's supposed to be ours. <laughs> Stupid Goldeen, I'm going to kill you out of hate now. Because I hate that you're more beautiful than me. Gulpin. Uh, poison boy. Let us keep battling. And let us aqua tails. Yeah, I did some grinding uh, along that path right next to the rest house. And it turns out, uh, Tornadus was there. Yeah, Tornadus would just randomly show up. So I was able to bop him real easy and get a ton of good experience real quick. Uh, I, I leveled up Mr. Inside the Cave and I got one of those little tufts of thing pop up and I got a dusk stone out of it. So I'm thinking maybe we should go back to uh, Barboach. Now let's just keep Mr. in. Uh, and I was thinking, maybe we should go back to the bridge and see what we can find on the bridge in terms of, like, items that fall from the, the sky, because you can get the flying Pokemon or they can be items. So I'm like, hey, if we can get Dusk Stones from the puffs in the cave, we might be able to get Moon Stones from the stuff falling on the bridge. Right? Logic? No, it, I mean, it's just, it could happen. Doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean it can or will, but it could, because randomizer, baby. <laughs> I just hate how we've gotten literally, like, every other stone, but, like, the basic four. Looks like the conveyor brought justice to you, you perv. Have you used the elevator? If you get to the elevator, you can figure out where you have, haven't been, right? It doesn't matter, man. Like, honestly, your gym's easy. You just go around the outside until all these platforms are lit up. Like, it's not that hard. Like, we're going to try and fight everybody in here for all the experience anyway, and it's just... I have a riddle for you. Do you know what is distant but close? Uh, victory. Victory is distant but close. Distant for you. <laughs> close for me. Yo, Suwaddle. Yo, I'm going to smack it. <laughs> I'm going to slap it so hard with my own body. Booga booga strength. Oh, yeah, this thing's not just bug. Uh, okay. No fighties. We go and we turn to... Buggy Plant. Which means... Pecky Poo will do a lot. Come on back now, you hear? And we're gonna send out Madam. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That delicious hydration of water. Let's see here now. Not very effective, but a critical hit. How about... Not, oh, yeah, we got Toxic Spikes from Adam. I forgot. <laughs> we got a bopper of a move from Adam. Toxic Spikes. How many more Pokemon does this guy have? I think he's got one more. What's Toxic Spikes? Bleep, bleep, bleep. Hope you come in and get poison. You know what? I hope you bite me and get poisoned and then die from poison. Oh, come on, man. Really? That would have been very funny to me. Bite me, get poisoned, die. Have your opponent switch in, get poisoned, die. 
Pikachu, yeah, we're gonna keep battling, baby. That Pikachu's gonna hit them and it's gonna go blip, 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 blip. Oh, it's so good. And then we're gonna go to double kick. Blip, 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 blip. Bam, bam. Static. Oh, god damn it with your static. I love static the ability, but I hate it too. Defeated Analyst Rachel. The distance between winning and coming close to winning is so close yet so far. You were nowhere even close. Something distant but close? I'm talking about Clay, who is near here but is rather reserved. Sorry, I think you were expecting something more interesting. Nah, not really. It's a Pokemon game, sir. Because I believe if we go here, it'll show us that Clay's in the middle there. But, like, we know how to get there. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just like, eh. Where does this take us? We're just going to try and find all the trainers in here. If we go down, there might be one more trainer. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Me and my Pokemon are professional tunnelers. My Pokemon can't be outdug or outburrowed. We have no rival. I mean, unless you got flying type Pokemon, <laughs> then it's a really high probability chance that you're not a burrowing bird because those are very rare. And I think only certain species actually burrow. I know some owls do. There is a burrowing owl. All right, you know what? We'll take on this polywag. We'll just hit hit it with strength. Double bop it. <laughs> Body slam. You're so tiny. Uh, damn it! How come everybody always gets their stuff on and I never get my stuff on? All right. Look, my accuracy lowered too. Oh no, speed lowered. Okay, never mind. My speed was already low. I was gonna say, everybody always get their stuff off. Oh, here's your paralyzed, here's your confused. And then I'm sitting here, paralyzed to sleep, confused for 900 turns. Larvitar, huh? Uh. That's a ground something, right? Larvitar? So let's just eat its day with houseplant. Let's eat all its delicious nutrients with houseplant. Just getting that slurp on. Slurp, slurp. I could get that slurp. Uh, pedal dance, Giga Drain, pedal dance, Giga Drain, pedal dance, Giga Drain. I do like how it kind of looks like it's got a little gem in its belly with a little red spot. Because, you know, I like the Sableye and Mega Sableye, how they get the gems in their bodies. So, I, I don't know, I think it's cute. That's why I like that Mega Sableye and Tyranitar tag team card from the TCG. Not only that, because Greedy Crush is hilarious. It's a very meme attack, you guys. Oh, dodged that guy. Right, good. I believe there's a guy up here. Yeah, there we go. When I say dig, I say skip your dialogue, because we're not here for your dialogue, sir. Oh, and we didn't switch our lead Pokemon, so this is going to be some... Ghastly... Ghastly. I guess Espeon could take this guy. Artemis. Because Psychic's good against poison, but Ghost resists Psychic, so I don't know. I think... I, I, I get so confused on how they decided to do stuff way back in the day and today. Use Payback. No, don't Payback me! Don't do it! Aha! Psybeam? I'm getting very scared now, because I think I might have made a terrible mistake. No, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was scared, but then I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, did I actually do a good? I did a good. Life's filled with pitfalls. Especially for you, because you're an excavatorium. An excavator. Hold on. We're gonna do this. Pokemon. Swap into Uncle Vanny. Because he's still healthy. Probably gonna clear out every one of these guys. And then go ahead and pop out, heal up, come back in for clay. I think it's a little easy that you can go through a gym like this. And just be like, I'm gonna clear out all the little punks. And then heal up and then come back for the main challenger. There should be like something that happens if you do that. 
like a couple dudes stand in front of Clay being like, yeah, you left, so we had time to heal our Pokemon. So if you want to get the Clay, you're going to have to refight us. I don't know, I just think that would make it a little bit more beneficial to possibly, you know, go ahead and just go through once in the gym without backing out. But then again, it would also be a little bit of an exploitive thing because you could always just back out, heal, come back and get more experience. But hey, what are you going to do about it? Analyst Mikey, isn't darkness great? It's the space of dreams and nightmares, because Darkrai is a thing now. Alright, so I think we're pretty Gucci on all this, yeah. That guy we haven't seen yet, so let's go face off against this dude, because yeah, we went all the way on the outside, but not the inside. Yeah, good stuff. He's like, whoa, 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 you stepped on my panel, hold on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, little lady, you stepped on my panel? <laughs> I am going to defeat you with my two Pokemon. My Clefairy and my other Pokemon you don't know because it's random. <laughs> my Clefairy, that ain't fairy, so I don't got to worry because my dragon gonna bop you in the Terry. Terry is a slang for mouth hole. Also, stop shoving food in your Terry. Also known as stop shoving food in your mouth hole. Also known as stop eating, you fat bastard! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Also, it dawned on me the other day when, when I overheard some people at work. Uh, they said that a gibble... We'll keep battling. They did, they did that thing where they whisper a word that they think is, like, derogatory or shouldn't be said. You know, you've often probably heard some older white folks or some older, you know, just older folks in general say, like, gay in, like, that way where they're like, you know, you know, he's more like, you know, and they say it because they're, they're, like, ashamed of saying it almost because they're, they're unsure of, like, the stance of the word. And if they're allowed to say it in, like, the casual nature of, like, just referring to someone, it's like, oh, their orientation's gay. Like, it, they, you know how, you know, um, you guys are going to answer it and know in your head if you, if you kind of hear when people talk like that. They, they say it for a lot of stuff they think is inappropriate to say. But I realized that people say it for fat, too. They treat fat as though it's on par with words like gay or something as insults. And it sort of dawned on me that we have an unhealthy relationship in our society with fat people as well. With being fat. Even just mentioning the word fat is like, a, oh, oh, no, no, don't say it or we'll get cursed with the fat. It's like, what? <laughs> You're allowed to say the word fat. You're allowed to say foods have fat. You're allowed to say people are fat. I mean, it's probably you're probably going to be a, a jerk for calling them that. But if there's two people and one of them's clearly fat, you know, I just go, oh, yeah, it's heavy. You know, it's heavy Derek or whatever. It's heavy Bob. It's heavy Jim. Because I know it's just being a hefty man myself, I don't want to hear people say the word like that. I don't want them to feel shamed or shameful for saying it or even ashamed of saying it or trying to avoid it. Because then it's like, well, I'm fat. Are you trying to avoid me? And it's the same psychology as like when you use any word like that. And it's just, it just sucks that a word that's so mundane and so everyday and encompasses so many people that we just have to say it like that. It's just stupid. It's just people being stupid because they're scared. It's like, oh, what if... Uh, eh. It's like, oh, just shut up and say the words, damn it. Stop fearing words. They're just words. Let's see. We're going to go down there. I want to lead with... Madam. Yep, want to lead with Madam. Them toxic spikes real good. It'll be, it'll be a real good setup maneuver. Toxic spikes... All right, now we just got to get back to Clay, I think, because that's the only one that uh, we need to go, right? The only way we need to go is through the, the underground pink ones here. Let's just take a peek up at the elevator. Uh, yeah, because there was nothing up there. It was a dead end in the middle. And, yep. All right, cool. Not down this one, but down through here somewhere, I think. Up through the middle, yeah. It's... It's somewhere up here. I know it is. I've seen it. 
Yeah, so Clay's right on the other side of this elevator, which means we have to get back somehow. I hate leaving puzzles and then coming back in again. It always messes with my brains. Should be around here somewhere. I hope I didn't already run past it. I'd feel so bad. It's like, it's up there, yeah? All right. So I think what we do is we go all the way up and around. So we scoop by this person here. And then we go up all the way to the top. And then we scoop around. Oh, no, wait, no. We've got to go left or right here first. Because right, we should be able to scoop around like this, I think. Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. And then this will get us right to the gym leader, baby. I like this guy. He, he's got to... Oh, damn it. I just wanted to turn around to face the screen. <laughs> he's kind of got like a little bit of a Doug Dimmodome thing going on. Because he's got that like yeehaw kind of thing. All right, kept me waiting, didn't you? I'm Doug Dimmodome. All right, time to see what you can do. I'm Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. <laughs> Mallory? Oh, God, guys, it's Archer's mom. I mean, we, we, we might have to send in Pam then. Let's just bug catcher Mallory. Sent in Panseer. Ooh, fire type boys. We haven't seen a lot of fire types. Very few of them. Let's toxic spikes. I doubt they'll have anything with Rapido Spino. Amnesia. So let's see. We're pretty, like, not super effective, but evenly matched with uh, this boy here. 65 damage or 60 damage total. Let's go with Horn Attack. Nice. A double K a double hit KO. Not too bad. It's what you want to go for. Impressive! That's some strength he got! <laughs> By the way, have you come to my Dimmodome? <laughs> We're having a party! Pokemon battles! At my Doug Dimmodome! At the Dimsdale Dimmodome! I know people have probably seen the memes about the, uh... Ubihium. Uh, psychic, we're poison. That's a bad matchup. Psychic. Yeah, let's throw in Pam against Mallory for funsies. Um, yes, you've probably been seeing the memes about uh, Doug Dimodome and the new Galar Weezing. And I love it. I absolutely love his big, huge hat. His giant smokestack hat. I hope you get poisoned. <laughs> Wait. You yeah, know, Psychic wouldn't be good against this boy, but we could captivate it. Or just body slam. Probably gonna one-shot it anyway. Ooh, no! Sort of berry and use its citrus berry. Oh, you think you think you can use a Zen headbutt against Pamela? Against the Pama Slamma? I don't think you understand, Sir BHM. What you're up against. This is special attack, right? Yep, okay. Because here she comes, the Pama Slamma, Congo Bongo's hero. Because hey yo, look out, it's time you go. What's this now? I'm simple. What? What'd you just do to me? What'd you just do to me? Good, I hope you die from poison. Yeah, that's right. But catch your Mallory sending Azumarill. Which would you play? Uh, Azumarill. Yeah, that's that's a that's a drinky boy. That's a boy we drink. Azumarill is the boy that we drink up. We we assassinate it like the emperors from Futurama. We give it that sweet delish. That sweet sweet delish. Yo, what up? No hard feelings, but I'm extremely stubborn. That's why I own the Doug Dimmodo. Can't put it to sleep, so we'll just uh, Giga Drain it. This music, though. I forget how awesome the music is in Pokemon sometimes, you guys. Pokemon has got some bopping tracks. Uh, often, we run Super Smash Brothers tournaments at work. And often I'll put it on the one of the systems on the, the menu to cycle through. And Pokemon's got some great stuff, man. Like some great music. So good. So good. Phew, you're really something. Little whippersnapper trainers who pack a real punch. Keep 
showing up one after another. Hmm. Here, take this from the Doug Demodome gift shop. Oh, wait, that's the Quake badge. Oh, yeah, it's on screen now. Oh, it's a beautiful. It's going to be on screen when it goes slap right in our case. I love it. I love when it goes on screen, you guys. I love it. Usagi received the Quake badge from Clay. So this is your fifth badge, huh? Well, that's great. If, the, if so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Here, take this too. TM78 Rock Slide. I like it. Well, I suppose come on this way. Oh, you're going to take me out? Yeah, boy. Doug Dimidome giving me that shortcut out. To his private abode. Good dancers are crucial for putting on a good show. All right, cool. Thanks for... That, I guess. Oh, shut up, Juniper. You're named after a tree. <laughs> you got a gym badge, too? I knew you could do it. You know, my partners are the reason I was able to get that badge. But I'm sure there are more connecting... For a second, I thought it said Connecticuting. And I'm like, Connecticuting isn't a word. My brain is bopping me, you guys. Connecting us to each other than Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the stolen Perloin's feelings will never be what they were. Oh, so you two squirts know each other, huh? You both ain't bad, so I want to show you something. Wait! I just remembered, Clay. Why? What's the reason? Why have you forgotten Team Plasma or forgiven Team Plasma? There's always room for folks to grow and change, ain't there? Especially in the Doug Nimmondo. <laughs> and if you only go after what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all thoughts and opinions other than your own. That's mighty dangerous. <laughs> is that one of those compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever, I'm gonna fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah, what were you wanting to show us? You ever heard of the Pokemon World Tournament? Trainers from all over the world gather up on up to see who's the toughest at the Doug Dimmodon. <laughs> well then, I'll be waiting for you at the southern end of town. I'm a mosey on out. A tournament to decide who's the strongest, huh? Right on, it's time for some special training. <laughs> I just imagine he yells giggigigigig when he runs really fast like that. All right, let's heal up our boys and girls. I'm gonna be so happy, so happy when I go and see what Pokemon moves we can erase from our Pokes and then replace them with good moves. Doo doo. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy. We can finally give Mister a good, a good attack. Get rid of strength. Actually, get rid of cut. And strength. Actually, we got the we got the we got the stuff for it. So, ah, there we go. We got all the stuff for it. We got two hard scales now, so we're gonna have to use it wisely. Oh wait, hold on. Forgot. Did we save yet? Gotta save it too. We heal up and then we save. Sometimes I double save because I'm insane, and it's like my memory just erases that last little bit of me saving. And I wish I could hear about it. You got a Moonstone for me? I don't want to get Battle Points, okay? Unless there's a Moonstone, then I'll cheat and I'll say Battle Towers where I'm going to get my stuff. Unless there's an item hidden around here that's a Moonstone. When battling in front of people, it's well known that you should stand your ground and not dance around. But I can't resist moves that groove like Petal Dance, Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, and Dragon Dance. And on rare occasions, even Lunar Dance. Oh, what is that? A, uh, a special Pokemon move that maybe you shouldn't be telling me about? Yo, what's what's up? What's up in here? Nope, 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 nope. Not yet. Nope. Goddamn shiny stone! Oh, my heart sank for a second. Goddamn shiny stone and your shiny... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> it made my life horrible. Here we are! What do you think? Great building, huh? It's my Doug Dimmodon. Here's where the Pokemon World Tournament takes place. Ain't she purdy? Follow me, Tads. I'm not following you. I don't want to follow you. I want to go. I want to go. No, 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 no. There's other things to do here, Usagi. Uh, I don't want to. Charon. Oh, my God. It's you. This time, I'm going to have you participate in the Drift Rail Tournament. Anything goes in this here tournament. Eight people will be participating. And if you win three times, you're the champion. Why did you call me too? I'm busy looking into something. You know something, Sharon? 
the one who's got to show everyone what Pokemon battling means is you. And your pal ain't here either. I'm counting on the power of youth, because everyone likes up-and-coming stars. Okay, whenever you're ready, get on over to reception. Man, oh man, you never change, Clay. But the tournament itself does look pretty fun. Okay, I'll go register. Yeah, me too! Usagi, come on, let's have some fun. We'll battle, plain and simple. I hope I don't have to do this. I hope I can just run away, because I don't want to do a tournament. If it forced me to do a tournament, I'm going to be very upset. All right, cool. Let's talk to these people, see if they give me any items. Just because that's what we're here for. See if anybody gives a moonstone. God, I'm so upset that we keep getting shiny stones and dusk stones and butt stones and heart stones. Let me fill in you in about battle points. Oh, I already know what battle points are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I talked to you, sir. I didn't want to mean to waste your time. <laughs> All right, so you, what do you have to tell me? Isn't it wonderful how people ch uh, challenging themselves helps bring the world together? Garbage can. Stardust. Oh, nice. In the trash. You, give me an item. What kind of battle will it be? Will we have battle for the ages? Yes! Got a rocky helmet. That's a pretty decent item, actually. We can put that on one of our uh, buff boys. Crab will go for my Pokemon. Yep. Crab will go. Fire badge, please. Grass badge, please. When combinations of these three moves are used in battle, special things happen. Oh, that's for the Panseer and... Pan Sage. If that professor is, or if that Pokemon is still with you, and if you have have a strong bond, there's a special move it can learn. Want me to teach it a battle combo move? No, 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 no. We're good. Who are you? Can teach Pokemon the ultimate moves. Oh no, no, no. Blastoise for Alligator, Swampert, Empoleon, and Samurott. Venusaur, Meganium, Sceptile, Torterra, and Superior. Yeah, we can we can maybe get some of that later, but eh. Who was I again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm the move deleter. Yes. Yes. Should we forget a move? Yes. For the love of God, forget a move. Cut. Yes, forget it. It worked perfectly. I'm so glad that they removed HMs in the later games, you guys. I know I say it all the time, but I can't be more happy that we can get rid of these garbage. Oh my god, Strength Forgotten, yes. Oh my god, it's finally happening. Oh, it's finally happening. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Calls me the Reminder Girl. Oh yeah, you're the girl I want to see. Bring me heart scale, I'll make him remember a move. Yes, for the love of god, remember a move on Mr. Which move should be remembered? Water Gun? No. Water Sport? No. Wrap Refresh. Water Pulse? Yeah. Twister? No. Let's see, the user whips of a vicious tornado, you also make the target flinch. Nope, captivate, rain dance, water pulse, baby, here we go. <sighs> now, we can go and see heart scale in exchange, yep. Yeah. Because we only got one more heart scale, right? And I'm thinking, is there anything which move should uh, Mr. Remember? Because we could maybe do rain dance, powering up water type moves, right? Uh, and doesn't it also, like, lower fire-type moves? So we could have a Rain Dance combo. Right? Water Gun, Wrap, Water Sport. Because we we barely just missed out on Rain Dance, because I leveled up to level 35, and I probably shouldn't have, so I could have not had to do this twice. But we could do Rain Dance, and there's no other way... I mean, I wish we could just go through the Pokemon and not have to go through all the... Uh, yes. Can we get, choose another Pokemon from the list? No. Oh, can we just send me back to the list? Because I don't think there's anything else we might want to relearn from any of these Pokemon here. Uh, maybe Artemis has something? Which move should be remembered? Let's just go all the way down to the bottom. Morning Sun, Psych Up, Future Sight, Swift, Confusion, Sand Attack, Tail Whip. No, nothing here for Artemis. So I'm going to leave that as the, like one of the question of the days, if I don't already have one. Uh, should I use the heart scale to get Rain Dance back on Mister, or should I leave it and save the heart scale for later? Because heart scales might be super rare for us to find these days. When a Pokemon learns the move Hidden Power, somehow I can tell what type it will be. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. So, yeah, answer, riddle me that question, and we'll see what we can do about... Uh, teaching Rain Dance to Mister, or if we should just leave it. Moonstone? A lagging tail. Lagging tail in the items case. That's that's an evolution item, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh no, it's, uh, it is tremendously heavily and makes the holder move slower than usual. Uh, I think that's meant for kind of like an Onyx. There's a certain like build that uses slow Pokemon that you need for that. Like Trick Room and stuff. A ship's only really a ship when it's crossing the ocean. Docked ships sure look lonely. No, a ship is still a ship as long as it's in the water. When it's out of the water, it's just a structure. Mm, I want to go down below so bad. I do, but we should also perhaps go to our Pokemon here and redo Mr.'s move move set here because we want Water Pulse up at front. Because look at that. It's 60 special, which means it's going to be 90 special. This is 90 physical. It's going to be so dope. Oh, we can also give, uh, actually, item give. I can't believe I, have, I haven't thought of this. Some of you might have already said this, but give them the splash plate. It boosts water type moves. There we go. The Razor Fang. We don't need the Razor Fang. The Razor Fang rarely ever worked anyway. So there we go. Water type moves are upped now. Dopest of the dope. Freshest of the fresh. Huh, but yeah, okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to save right out front so that way everything we've just done is solid. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to answer my questions and stuff. And make sure, let me know, because I really want Mr. to be all that Mr. can be. And I think if we have Rain Dance, that'll be super helpful coming up. It'll also help us eliminate other weather effects as well. So thank you all for joining me on this episode of Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. It's been a great episode, and I'm looking forward to the next ones. And until next time, everybody, take care.